Hi guys, so I'm currently in Shanghai. I basically just wanted to say that this video is targeted for those of you who do really long haul flights like us in Australia. We pretty much have to do long haul flights anywhere we want to go in the world. We're so far away from anything. My last trip, when I left Turkey, it took me 60 hours to get home. I traveled from Izmir to Athens, which I had a 12 hour stopover in Athens. From Athens to Munich, I had a five hour stopover in Munich. Munich to Shanghai, I had a well, actually, it was 12 hours stopover in Chiang Mai. It was only supposed to be five, but I had a delay of 10 hours. And then two of the flights were 10 hours. So it literally took me about 60 hours to get home. And so my video is targeted to those of you that do trips like that, that you're going to be in airports and in planes, having things that will obviously make the trip a lot easier for you. So, yes, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Keep watching to see my tips and tricks. Hello, guys. So I've been out and about this morning. I look fucked. I still got like a treatment in my hair. I'm about to go wash it out and I'm going to just go blow dry my hair and begin packing. I'm leaving tomorrow at 6 a.m. So I want to get that done. Then I'm going out for dinner tonight and I've got my nails done. You can still see the black, but at least it's painted over so it's not so dramatic. All right, so I'm just getting the last few errands done, just doing some drying and I'm beginning to pack now. By the way, I literally always, always am wearing my <laughs> Princess Polly stuff. But I just never post in it anymore because it can't be, you can't buy it. So I just, I never know whether to like show you guys that I'm wearing it or... Let's do this. So I've just washed my hair. You, you guys know I obviously had a treatment in it. I either like to leave a treatment in it on the flight itself or do a treatment just before I leave. I guess my number one, number one, number one tip before going on any long haul flights or even traveling in general is hydration. So I hydrate my hair as much as I can. I use Olaplex, this is number two. I always leave it in overnight and wash it out. And because I know that I'm only in Shanghai for a few days, I will be preparing myself before I leave. Sometimes if I know I'm there for a few weeks, I'll just be disgusting. Like I'll put <laughs> hair treatment in my hair, body treatments, face treatments all over me on the flight. And then when I get there, I'll like exfoliate and fake tan and all of that once I'm there. But because I'm only there for such a short amount of time, I'm doing that before I leave. I'm going to be putting in quite a lot, like maybe a little bit more than I usually would, of my Weller Professionals Oil Reflections Smoothing Treatment. This stuff is incredible. I've used it for so long. All right, now I'm going to be fake tanning. Loving Tan 2R Express. I've used this for years as well. I use the 2R Express always i don't use the ultra dark i use the dark one and i actually sleep in this and it gives you the most beautiful deep color as you can see that i'm already like quite tan still from europe but just to add a little bit of extra color i like to add it to my neck like i've told you guys my chest and just like a light layer over my body tomorrow morning i will literally lather like lather my body in moisturizer um, before my flight because there is nothing more drying for your skin than a flight. So I've got my fake tan on. Next tip, which is the same tip. Before I go on any flights, I like to give my face a really big hit of hydration. I'm going to drench my lips in my Lano Lips 101 Ointment Multi Balm. This is pear flavor. Lano Lips is one of my favorite lip balms. Um, it just stays moisturized for so long. <laughs> I love to put on a hydration mask, just give my skin a big shot of hydration, then I'll take that off, do my serums and my normal moisturizers and my nighttime routine. Tonight I'll be spritzing my face with the U Tan and Tone Coconut Tanning Mist Water. <clears throat> and this is by, what's it called? Who's it by? I don't know, but anyway, this is a face tanner, but because my body is so going to be so dark, and my face is going to be so white. I do this the night before so that it gives my face a little bit of color so that I don't have to wear makeup on the plane. So I'm going to use the Minasi Australian Clay Hydrating Mask. They've got a whole bunch of different ones. They've got the rejuvenating, the cleansing. Um, the reason I loved this so much was there's so much in the products. So you literally just lather your face. Um, I literally get dry even thinking about planes. <laughs> My skin shrivels up like a prawn. So prepping is literally the most important part before you go on any trips away. Uh, because once you're there, you're kind of screwed. You want to try prevent the dryness from really happening and stay on top of it while you're traveling so that it doesn't just hit you like a ton of bricks when you get there. This has so much left in it still and usually what I do is I put it down my neck and on my chest but because I've got a fake tan obviously I'm not going to be doing that. I try to drink three liters a day before or even 
as much as I possibly can. The reason that this is coloured is because, no, it's not cordial. Can you believe it? This is what my naturopath suggested for me. I put in this C Max by Biomedica, a powder that contains a lot of vitamin C. So it makes my cordial, it makes my water taste good. It makes it easier to drink, but it really, really loads vitamin C into you so that you don't get sick. We all know traveling is the main reason I get sick. Also the day before I travel, I really, really load up on my vitamins. If I remember and I'm good, I'll do this literally three days before I travel and then continue to do this while I'm away. And that is, I take two Armour Force a day. It's just really good for your immune system. I will load up on my SUP travel immunity and on my probiotics, my gut love. Okay, so here we have the contents of my carry-on and it's pretty much what I pack every single time. So I suggest getting a bag like this that has the front pockets that you can easily access things if you need. And then on the inside, you've got all the little different compartments. It's really easy to find stuff. I'll put a pair of thongs just in case like I'm on the plane and I don't want to be barefoot. I will put a notepad and a pen. And that is because I always need to fill out their forms when you're on the plane. It's always annoying having to ask people to borrow a pen. So I don't actually have my passport here because Ange has my passport and my visa and everything. Um, but I always have like a little folder with all my passport and essential documents. Always bring a clean pair of undies because you never feel so dirty than you do when you are traveling. Let's put them in there. Um, obviously charger cords and they're not all here like my laptop and phone and everything but I just thought I would show you. I suggest getting one of these things. One of the adapters that you get to just keep on your carry on it has a Europe it has America it has Australia you can unlock it lots of different uh, things you can buy them at the airport obviously but I went through a phase where I would forget one every single time I went away and I would always have to buy them at the airport so keeping one of these in your carry-on is always very handy I always bring a pair of sunglasses with me because I usually look like shit so I want to cover my face so I'll just put that in this area here I always like to just have a bag this is what I'll keep my phone my wallet my earphones and usually these important documents in here and I'll have that on me Obviously, I like to bring a book with me, so when you get bored of the movies and stuff, having a book to read is always good. Tissues, a toothbrush. I usually have um, natural sleeping, uh, sort of melatonin, uh, which you can buy from the airports. I literally cannot sleep on a plane. This, I have no idea what it was. I bought it when I was in Munich and in a stopover, and I'm pretty sure it's chemical, but I haven't really taken one of these. Hairbrush is really important because you, my hair just knots up quite a lot. I like to bring a bottle of perfume with me because I just feel like I like to smell good and feel fresh when I'm on a plane. I'll always bring a sachet of cold and flu because I get quite a sore throat on planes, and maybe a Panadol as well in case I get a headache. Now, you want to remember that you have to have everything under 100 mils so make sure you're not packing anything over 100 mils in your carry-on so I always have a packet of wet wipes which I've run out of so I'll probably buy some at the airport just to take any excess dirt off my face and then I will spray some dermaquench by um, Kate Somerville I can't remember really what this does but she explained it to us and she said it was amazing for on planes and then I put my Clinique moisture surge overnight mask over the top of that being on a plane has so much pollution and it's just so bad for your skin so I like to basically block all that with a mask and this I just put a thick layer of this over my skin and literally leave it on for like the 12 hours <laughs> the lip balm eye drops because you can get quite dry eyes on the plane and same I can get quite bad allergies so a nasonex this is basically an anytime use dry remedy for hair so you can put it in dry hair or wet hair and it's like a nice oil and this is a face oil I don't this is Noni Glow by Miranda Kerr when I take this off when I land I will um, put a little bit of face oil on just to make sure I lock in the moisture I also pack the smallest amount of makeup on the plane with me I just pack usually a foundation like a bronzy colored one in just to put around the outside perimeter of my face I'll bring a little liquid blush just to add a bit of flush to my cheeks and a bit of highlighter just to make myself look a little bit more healthy usually to be honest I never ever 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 put this makeup on because I just don't care like after a long haul flight I just don't care what I look like um, but it's just there in case I also have my Clinique pep start lip balm which is just like a really nice baby pink tint to it so that just adds a flush to my lips. And all my skincare stuff. 
I just take this out when I get to the airport, put it in the tray, and I don't put it in plastic bags. I just put it straight into the tray and put that in so that they can see it's all 100 mils. And I just put that in as well. And obviously, I'll be putting my laptop and this camera and everything important to me in this. So I will always put a hoodie in here. And depending if I'm going into really cold weather, I'll put some trackies. I also bring this stuff on the plane with me. I keep that on flights with me and dose myself up. <sighs> Running up those stairs, killing me. I'm just gonna try out this Ole Henriksen Glow Cycle Power Serum. So I've just taken my mask off and my skin feels beautiful. And I'm just gonna do a bit of packing up, packing of my skincare and my makeup. I thought I would just make another suggestion to you guys. Um, oh wow, what the hell, it's purple. All these tips are obviously just what I do to make myself feel better when I'm traveling. So that the trip is just like a little bit easier. It all can be extremely unnecessary, but it's just something that, cause when I travel a lot, I'm just sick of feeling gross and dry to stay on top of it. So I thought I would just share these tips with you. I'll tan water and just tan my face. Just doesn't break me out as much. Something else that I like to do is I like to bring herbal teas with me on the plane. So they sometimes serve green tea and peppermint tea, sometimes not. So I really, really love drinking tea on planes because it's really warm and it's so cold with the air con. So I drink literally, you should ask my sister, I drink like, like eight cups of tea on the flight, which is not good. Like you shouldn't have too much tea, but I'll usually pack my own herbal tea. So sometimes I pack peppermint tea. Sometimes I pack like lemon and honey, put it in your carry on and then just ask the, the flight attendant for some hot water and then you can just make yourself some tea. So if you are just doing a little short trip like myself, I would suggest getting yourself a little bag like this with little tiny compartments. So this is from Mecca Cosmetica and it basically comes with lots of little compartments like this that you can fill up your favorite products with. So again, like you can see, I've just filled this with my moisturizer. I can now bring this on the plane with me because it's just 40 mils. A total side note, but can I just say that this living proof shampoo and conditioner is so, 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 so good. So I recommend this if you like shampoo. For those people asking what I use on my hair, that is the shampoo and conditioner I'm currently using. I've got my body moisturizer, my shampoo, my conditioner, my face wash. This is literally my Clinique face wash. I've got my cellar water, my pimple cream, my, um, my, my makeup pads. Um, obviously toothpaste and then the last thing is my deodorant i really just quickly want to show you guys the overview of the makeup that i've been loving and that i'm going to bring um so primer foundations these are my face that's beautiful bronzer highlighter these are the ones that are warm these are the ones i love these are right now the concealers and this is the face spray and then on the other side i've just got a few brushes and that's my eyeshadow palette. So, so adding into my toiletry bags, just a few spare elastics, some tweezers, and my dry shampoo. Alrighty guys, I have pretty much finished I think. I don't think I'm like anything amazing or special because I travel a lot but I just feel like I've done it enough to know like what helps and what makes me feel so much better when I do travel so. So it is now night time. I'm literally just in a hoodie because I've got fake tan on but we're just going out for a, a quick dinner. Get some dumplings before I leave. That's pretty much all I can think of at the moment as for my tips and tricks for going on a long haul flight. If I think of anything else, I'll put it in another video, but I'm pretty sure this is probably long enough. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.